I'm Layla Muhammad here in Paris with the beautiful Eiffel Tower over my shoulder. We're right here for the Mission Impossible Fallout world premiere. I'm on the red carpet. Tom Cruise is headed this way. Why are you still doing these stunts? <laughs> you know, it's... I'm just thinking of the audience and how, how can I entertain them? I'm gonna walk in the room, there's gonna be like gold dust flakes falling around her and like a halo, yeah, Cher is here. What is it like when you're around um, your castmates and they speak so so highly of just you showing up on set? There was some excitement that I was coming in. What is the formula? What is the, you know, it, we don't have enough time. Give me three so things you must do. I don't do any dairy. All right, I don't do any bread flour. I'll do Ezekiel bread, which is sprouted, mm -hmm. sprouted bread. Okay, is that good? Yes! That, did you ever think that, that laugh from the helicopter scene would be so iconic? No. I think I just came out with a <laughs> Maybe they are out there, and if they are, good morning. How you doing? <laughs> We're nice. I uh, hope, you're, hope you're having a great day. We like And you may want to stay where you are. You don't want to yeah, come down here. They just do some flybys and like, you know what? Nah, we're all set. We're gonna we're take good. Off. They got problems on <laughs> Earth. You're talking to Christopher Robin, and he couldn't believe you recognized him. Well, as I recall, he's much taller than I remember. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't the answer I was expecting, but thank you for painting the visual. Yeah, you got oh, it. I got yeah, it. You wanted to know. I promise you, all of your viewers want to know that story. <laughs> what is it like to stare into his eyes? It's good. It's good? <laughs> yeah. Your lips are bloody insane. I kind of just want to kiss them. Oh, we're right here, right here. <laughs> they don't love you like I love you. Slow down. They don't love you like I love you. They don't love you like I love you. I need to be in the next movie time. Let's do it. You want to? You ride motorcycles? Oh, I will learn how to ride a motorcycle. Ride a motorcycle. You go. You will learn to ride out a motorcycle. And I'm in the next movie. <laughs> Y'all heard me we'll first. Give you, <laughs> we'll give you a shot. Can you teach me one thing though while we're here? I need to learn my red carpet pose. I make the ugliest faces. I'm ready. Ready? So show me. One, two, three, and just you go like this. That South Carolina dentist is an online sensation after taking a viral challenge. The video shows the dentist dancing to Drake's new song, In My Feelings, but he's calling it In My Feelings, you know, a play on getting feelings in your teeth. You can really move. A lot of folks, I've read the comments, a lot of women have been asking, at some point in your life, were you a professional dancer? Like, have you uh, been a part of perhaps the thunder from down under out of Vegas? <laughs> Absolutely not. Uh, up until last Thursday, only dancing I did was at some weddings and in my kitchen with my wife joking around. What, what kind of business have you gotten since this? The phones have been very busy. Uh, my team has been amazing. My office manager, Marjorie, uh, I'm gonna probably need to send her to an island real soon for <laughs> a break. Uh, has anyone called the office and said, hi, I'm Kiki? Yes, we have had a couple key keys. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> I, yes, I checked the answering machine this weekend and we had a couple key keys. Where are you now on that decision? Are you still standing by your initial thoughts, which is I'd rather go to jail? Or are you thinking, you know, I want to be out of jail to hear from my child? I mean, take us through that. The last thing I want is to go to jail, obviously. Right now, I have found a really good appellate attorney. We are trying to put in an emergency appeal. Let's say worst case scenario, Rebecca, the judge puts you in jail and then they still go ahead and, and, and vaccinate your child. Is that, the, is that your worst fear? I'm trying to keep that out of my head because it is. It's a very hard um, thing. It's a hard reality you know, um, to have to face. There was a, a huge rally in March in Chicago. They had some powerful young yeah. speakers there uh, about the violence that happens in their community mm -hmm. every day. So it's getting to the root of why people yeah. are turning to uh, gun violence. I think this next conversation is gonna bring up um, something that's been weighing on my mind lately, which is you don't have to be anti-Second Amendment to sure. be pro-school safety. Of course. Or pro-gun control in some sense. Yeah. Um, so I've been having this debate with friends. And also, before I, we move on uh, to Santorum's comment, I thought about that. You know, the women who, who marched in the, for the women's suffrage movement, mm -hmm. uh, the folks who marched for civil rights, they were marching and looking for legislation and solution. That's had they not marched, how you get things right? Done. That's how you get things done. Yeah. So you can't say we'll just be quiet and not march because yeah. that's how you get problems solved. You ask your lawmakers to do something, mm -hmm. and this is a big spoiler. So we finally learned what caused the fire at the Pearsons' home. Anybody else walking out? 
Okay. I think it's safe. A crock pot had a funky switch, but the Pearsons kept it anyway. So once that crock pot set the house ablaze, it had fans of the show throwing out their own slow cookers. The show's creator waiting on Twitter saying, taking a moment to remind everyone that it was a 20 year old fictional crock pot with an already funky switch. Let's not just lump all those lovely, hardworking crock pots together. I like mine. Awesome. I used it recently for I some like chili. Too. And it was good. You yeah. like, I, I encourage you to you buy one. You told me to buy one, so <laughs> I bought one. And it's still in use but on if, my kitchen counter. <laughs> okay, turn us back up. So if you I haven't seen in. the, yeah, come back in, Melissa. If you haven't She's seen good. the episode, all I will say is this, you will cry. And, and this is the best part about it. Yeah. As, as Sterling K. Brown reminds us on Twitter, we're not working next Tuesday. So the show is not coming on Tuesday. Uh -huh. They're waiting until Super Bowl Sunday sure. after the Super Bowl. Brilliant, because I mean, another big part of the episode is about the Super Bowl. So there yeah. you go. I'm sure if we had another, that that baby would be even extra big, maybe as big as his dad. I mean, that little boy came out, wah. <laughs> <laughs> like manly boy. It's like that Saturday Night Live sketch with Will Ferrell. He comes out as a 30-year-old man. He's like, it was hot in there. Yeah, she's like, <laughs> she's like, is the baby crying? That is it. Wah. <laughs> hey, mama. <laughs> It's been a long time. Can I get some of them wings? Give me some wings. <laughs> <laughs> Give me some guac. Pass me that sippy cup. <laughs> <laughs> Layla, you're killing Take it today. Take a number five special two-piece chicken <laughs> and biscuit. Extra crispy. Can I have one of those wings? Yeah. He's cute. Like Follow me on this. This is Lewis. <laughs> He's an 18-year-old primate. He What's lives in the Philadelphia <laughs> Zoo. Get it, Lewis. He likes to walk upright while he carries the snacks or when the ground is muddy because Lewis said I'm not getting my paws dirty. <laughs> oh it's pretty unusual for gorillas to walk upright for more than a few steps. In the wild, western lowland gorillas like Lewis might do it for a few seconds to reach food or wade in the swamps, but Lewis thinks he is a full-blown grown man. <laughs> Lewis is thick. <laughs> He's been doing some squats. Yeah. Lewis, <laughs> Lewis got that squat game yeah, on a thousand. He, does. Yeah. he got his own video coming out about how to how to squat. Yeah. I kept looking at Lewis's yeah. thighs like, dang. I know. What are they feeding him? Just straight protein. Ow. Can we play Lewis again? Just take us out to the break, Lewis. Lewis, Lewis is need. flexing. Lewis. Look Come on, Lewis. <laughs> Lewis yeah. said good morning. Lewis is flexing. I'm about to go walk, I'm about to walk with these grounds and go check Look. on the other animals. What do the other gorillas think about that? Good morning. How you doing? He's got some curves. Breakfast is served in an hour. Yeah. Follow me. <laughs> good morning. Walk and talk. Walk and talk. <laughs>